Fred Okengo Matiangi, who is the cabinet secretary for interior, is under a lot of pressure to contest for the presidency in 2022. And on this platform, I've always opined severally that Fred Matiangi is highly qualified to serve as the next president of the Republic of Kenya. But 2022 is not the year of Fred Okengo Matiangi. So in this video today, I want to give you the reasons why Fred Okengo Matiangi must support Raila Amolo Dinga for the presidency in 2022. But before we do that, for those who are watching this channel for the first time, I want you to take a second or two and click the subscribe button so that next time we produce a video like this, YouTube will automatically notify you. And to the subscribers, I want to continue thanking you guys from the bottom of my heart. Now, let us get back to business. This week, the members of parliament from the Gusi region held a retreat, two-day retreat. And at the end of that retreat, they read a statement. And that statement was read by Silvanus Osoro, who is a close ally of the deputy president. It was also read by Simba Arati and Richard Onyonka. Simba Arati is ODA member of parliament. Richard Onyonka is a Ford Kenya member of parliament. Also present in that meeting was uh, the senator, nominated senator, Millicent Omanga. And Kenya started speculating why, why Osoro and Omanga specifically were present at that meeting. That meeting, the main objective was actually to form a political party for the Gusi region, and that political party they would use it to negotiate. I don't know where or how that process or that initiative is going to end. Because after that meeting, Raila Molo Dinga then met separately, met again with Onyonka, Arati, and some other gentlemen there. But personally, if you ask me, I tend to think that Fred Okengo Matiangi will actually waste himself if he decides to run for the presidency in 2022. He has a future. Fred Matiangi has built a name for himself. And therefore, he can serve in this country as a running mate or even as a presidential candidate or he can serve as the president. But not in 2022. Fred Matiangi needs protection after 2022. If William Ruto is going to win, Raila Molodinga also needs the presidency in 2022 because that's the only thing remaining for him. So, but if you look at the interest, Fred Okengo Matiangi chance of becoming the president and Raila Molodinga chance of becoming the president, then you would conclude that Fred Matiangi might not actually qualify for the presidency in 2022. And for those who follow this channel, I've always told you that around President Ru Kenyatta, there's a group of individuals who strongly believes that Raila Odinga should not be the next president of the Republic of Kenya. And these individuals are pushing for two people. They're pushing for Musadi Mdavadi, and that project Musadi Mdavadi, sometimes it's kicking in, it's, it's taking up, I mean, it's... Uh, Kick, it's uh, picking up, sometimes it's not. And there also, there's another group which is also pushing for Fred Okengo Matiangi. And Fred Matiangi might actually be tempted to run. Why do I strongly believe that Matiangi should actually not contest, but instead support Raila Amolodinga? Number one, the first reason is William Ruto presidency. If you've, if you've been following William Ruto and his brigades, one of the people they've identified as their enemy is none other than Fred Okengo Matiangi, to some extent, Karanja Kibicho. So which means, if William Ruto were to be declared the president of the Republic of Kenya today, Fred Okengo Matiangi's job will come to an end instantly. And it will not just come to an end. Fred Okengo Matiangi will be targeted. Remember, President Ruru Kenyatta promised the judiciary that they were going to revisit. Despite the handshake, the judiciary was revisited. That's exactly what will happen to Fred Okengo Matiangi should William Samoy Ruto succeed. Matiangi, Karanja Kibicho, 
Nancy Gitau uh, to some extent Rafael Tuju to some extent um, David Murade those people will not have space and therefore for them to survive they must support a camp which is likely to form the next government and which camp is this it's only Raila Molodinga who can challenge the deputy president Dr William Samoei Ruto for the presidency i've seen so many people claim that Raila Odinga cannot defeat Ruto but Muslim Davadi or Kalonzo can let me assure you the moment you give Ruto Mudavadi the moment you give Ruto Kalonzo he will make mince meat out of them so that's the first reason Fred Matiangi must work extra hard to ensure that William Ruto does not succeed President Uhuru Muge Kenyatta as the next president of the Republic of Kenya. Number two is future in politics. I'm not sure whether Fred Matiangi will run for a political office other than the presidency in 2022. And which political office do you think Fred Matiangi can actually contest? in 2022 i don't think Freddie matiangi will actually see or oversee president uru kenyatta's succession politics in fact i've always opined that even karanja kibicho who is being speculated to contest that he will be contesting in kirinyaga cannot run these two gentlemen are very close allies of the president and the president will need them during the transition so which means karanja kibicho fred matiangi will serve around the president until the new president is sworn in whether that new president will be ruto whether that new president will be kalonzo or whether that new president will be raila amorodinga so they'll be there to oversee the transition which means after that assuming even if raila odinga takes over or even if william ruto takes over fred maten cannot be assured of an appointment as a cabinet secretary or to that to some extent as a powerful cabinet secretary as interior he can be appointed a cabinet secretary maybe for education or something else as a human being he will do what others before him have done kimimia was the head of the civil service he transitioned to politics after overseeing Kibaki's transition he served and then when Uru and the and Ruto decided to to remove him then he plotted and made a comeback as a as a governor for Nyandarwa that's exactly what Fred Okeng Matengi should be advised Fred Okeng Matengi should be advised that what he needs now is to identify what he wants to become politically either Nyamira governor or Nyamira senate but not in 2022 but in 2027 for him to become the next governor for Nyamira in 2027, he must, in my view, work very well with the current or the most popular political faction in, uh, in the region. For example, why was Fredo Kengo Matiangi venturing into Bonchari politics? He wanted to become the Gusi spokesperson or the Gusi leader, the undisputed. But he was defeated there. Why? Because he was going against a very strong wave of ODM party. The truth of the matter is that as much as ODM man mismanaged their nominations in the Gusi region, it still remains one of the most most active and most popular political party in that region. In Nyamira, for example, despite the fact that Fred Matiangi was a senior government official, despite the, the fact that even um, Maraga was appointed during uh, Uru Kenyatta's tenure, still they had to de depend on the deep state to rig in favor of Uru Kenyatta. So for Fred Okengo Matiangi to succeed in future politics, he must support Raila Molodinga in 2022. Number three, <laughs> and this is what I'm looking at it, how I'm looking at it. Fred Matiangi wants to become the president of the Republic of Kenya. In future, even if not now. But Raila Odinga is also complicating the equation for Fred Okengo Matiangi, which means Fred Matiangi cannot become the president in 2022. Kisses alone cannot make Fred Matiangi the president of the Republic of Kenya. 
what should he do he should work towards post 2022 and that will mean that fred matiangi must court the luo nation how can fred matiangi court the luo nation he can only court the luo nation if nyanza as a region is actually united so a united nyanza is good for fred okino matiangi so if fred okino matiangi can work with Raila Amolo Odinga in 2022 then the Gusi region votes for Raila Odinga as a block then they become brothers and sisters then it will be possible that the Luos will easily support Fred Matiangi in 2027 if or in case Raila Amolo Odinga will not be in the picture and that would mean he supports Raila Amolo Odinga Raila Odinga becomes the president then as a president he nominates or he appoints Fred Matiangi maybe to another powerful ministry and then starts grooming him as the future leader of the Nyanza region but as things stand today if you look at the history of uh, Luo Kikuyu I mean Luo's Kisis and the Koreas it's very difficult for Luo's for example to support someone from Korea why because the Korea people have never voted for them but it is possible for example for a Luo to vote for a Soba someone like John Bade or even Milubiambo most people assume those are Luos those are not Luos it's easier for someone for, for them to, to vote for them because they've always stood with the Luos Kisis stood with the with the Relo Dinga in 2013 and 2017 despite the fact that they was their victory was stolen but before that there were a lot of problems between these two brothers So Fred Matiangi can bring them together so that the moment Raila Odinga exceeds the political scene then he can easily take over and gain the support of the Luos. So number three is the support of the Luos. The fourth reason why I strongly think he needs to support Raila Odinga is that I don't think Fred Matiangi has a chance of becoming the president president in 2022. Now let me just put it this way If Raila Odinga were to be given the ticket today and Raila Odinga decide to endorse him do you think he can easily become the next president the chances are remote okay assuming Raila Odinga is running the way Raila Odinga is going to run and then Fred Okeng Matiang is also convinced to run do you think Fred Matiang will still become the next president he can't so the chance of Fred Matiang becoming the president president in 2022 in my view is very slim and because that chance is very slim he needs to be very strategic strategic in the sense that if he doesn't have a chance then he should not go but if he has a chance then he should go 2022 in my view Fred Matiang doesn't have that chance and lastly is something which is related to what i said the unity of the nyanza if the nyanza if nyanza as a whole is united then it will mean the eleven have a higher bargaining power so that someone will not come from nowhere and start identifying and picking someone from kisi and then giving a minister for education and then kisi is sorted going to korea give them some assistant minister and then they are sorted if nyanza is united then it means as a region they can easily decide that in appointments if Kalo, if if akisi gets that's us if someone else gets that's us so it means they'll have they shall have raised their stakes and that would mean that in 2022 i mean in 2027 Fredokingo Matiangi can even if you want if you want to be a running mate I mean if you want to be a presidential candidate then the power of the Nyanza region can easily make him a running mate to a credible presidential candidate for example if someone is strong in Luland let's say Kidero and Matiangi and say Kalonzo wants a running mate the first thing we look at will be the numbers the numbers of kisses and luos the luos are the majority but if the luo is united then it means i mean if the nyanza the nyanza region is united the kisses 
because uh, because uh, Matengi supported Raila and therefore the region is united, then it means the moment Raila Odinga will exit political scene, then the entire Nyanza can now rally around around um, Fred Matiangi. And that would mean that he can negotiate on behalf of the entire Nyanza and on that table he can say, for us, we don't want anything. We want a running mate. And because the presidency came from Nyanza, from Nyanza but Luo, I'm not a Luo. So, and because we, co we command them, give kissing. And that would serve the interest of the entire Nyanza because now Nyanza will speak with one voice as if they have their numbers. I don't know what you think. Do you think Fred Matiangi has a chance of becoming the next president of the Republic of Kenya in 2022? Let me hear your thoughts on this. Thank you guys and may you have a good day. Bye-bye.